been intended, but do you feel the same? Lovers, late at night, I will be right here too, out of sight, love is under... Hey everybody, it's your girl Imani P from the DMV. You know where I'm at, you know where I be. Welcome to my channel, my Versus, so where I talk about music, culture, and more. So today, I want to do like a video. This video is about me complaining about unnecessary features on songs that I don't like and that were unnecessary and I don't like them. Does that make sense? <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm complaining about today. So I wanna just get right into it because I have complaints. It's all written here. They're complaint. This is my complaint journal. I go in here, I listen to music and I complain and then I make a video if I wanna talk about it or not. And that's it. So yes, the first complaint I have is a song with Big Crit, Lil Wayne and Sweetie. Sweetie is an American rapper and songwriter from, songwriter from Santa Clara, California, and she's known for her hit song, Icy Girl in 2017. Big Crit is an American rapper producer from Meriden, Mississippi, and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is an American rapper and songwriter from New Orleans, Louisiana. What is he known for? I know you can't handle it. What's that song called? Anyway. So there was a song that came out in 2020 called Addiction. Um, it was a big crit song. It was called Addiction. It was featuring Sweetie and Lil Wayne. Um, I, I felt like Sweetie didn't even be on that song. I think it was big crit and Lil Wayne. It would have been just fine. It was cool. It was a cute song. I've heard better from big crit, but it was a cute song. They were playing on the radio. Why was Sweetie on that song? I did not like the way she sounded. Um, they had her on the chorus, so she was just doing the chorus. She didn't have no verse on there, but it was just weird. It felt forced. It felt like she was forcefully trying to be sexy. And it was around that time where Sweetie like switched up her, uh, like her, her, um, she was like switched like what she was trying to do. Remember when Sweetie first came out, she was like, I'm a girl from college. I'm the girl next door. I don't rap, blah, 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 blah. And then she became like a sex deviant girl and you know, got her BBL and stuff. It was in that transition. So it was kind of weird hearing her like talk very sexual on a song. It was a, it was an odd pairing. Like I just wasn't really messing with it. It's not like, like a label just was like, oh, we need to put Sweetie out there. She's popular now. Put her on this big crit song with Lil Wayne and just put her on there. Even the music video was like weird to watch at the time because she was like bending over and all this stuff. And I was like, hmm, this is weird. So yeah, I don't like that song. She didn't need to be on that song. That song was just fine with Big Crit and Lil Wayne. I know it started, probably started off with just Big Crit and Lil Wayne. I know it did. And y'all just threw Sweetie on there just to be cute. And that's, that's, that's why that song ain't going nowhere because y'all trying to be cute. This next song irritated me real well too. And as another woman rapper being being on a song, but she was forced to be small on the song. And it upsets me because this woman's really talented. So J.I.D. is an American rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. Young Baby Tate or Baby Tate is an American rapper, song singer, songwriter, and producer from Atlanta, Georgia. And we got the man, the king himself, 21 Savage who was an American rapper from the L, 21 from L, from London. But he grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, the song is called Surround Sound and it came out in 2020 as well. So it was J.I.D. featuring 21 Savage and Baby Tate. And I did not like how they did my girl on that song. I'm not saying, at this point, it was an unnecessary feature. It was unnecessary. You did not need to put her on that song if y'all were just gonna cut her all to like a little a little uh, interlude into Tono and Savage's part. Like they really blew me. So if you ever heard Surround Sound, it's J.I.D. 21 Savage rapping and then Baby Tate has this little interlude, it goes into 21 Savage. And I just feel like I've heard her whole verse on that song. They could have just let her have her verse on that song and cut out like the second, who had a second verse on that song? Was it 21 or J.I.D.? I can't remember. I haven't heard that song in a, a while, but cut one of the men's out. 
because it could have been a popular song. It had a good sample. The sample was used well. J.I.D. is a good rapper. Tony One Savage is a good rapper. Baby Tate's a good rapper. And it could have been a song with heavy hitters rapping. They mess. But y'all had to cut that girl in half because she was going to shine brighter than y'all. I know what it is. I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this next song. I uh, Just my complaint. So... Kendrick Lamar is an American rapper and songwriter from Compton, California, and J. Cole is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and producer um, from Germany. But I think he grew up in North Carolina. The song's Forbidden Fruit from 2013. It was on J. Cole's Born Center. Was it Born Center, y'all? It was. Okay. I'm not, not, I'm not saying it was unnecessary. It is because it's in this video, so it's a bit unnecessary. I'm saying... It would have been nice to have a verse on there, Kendrick. It would have been nice. And that's all I have to say. I still bump that song. I still like that song. Um, I don't do... I want J. Cole and Kendrick not to do a verse together at this point in their careers. I don't care anymore. And the hype is gone. And I don't want to hear them. But, um... My next thing I have an issue with... And this is why I hate about Afrobeats and dance hall or, like... Um, soca artists, why y'all keep putting these American behind white people or just American behind people on these songs and they don't sound right? I hate when y'all be putting Drake on these dance hall songs. It blows me. Oh, he don't sound good. I don't care. I don't care. I don't think he sound good on them songs. Anyway, this song. Justin Bieber is a Canadian singer from Canada. Duh, Canadian, Canada. Don't judge me. Thames is a Nigerian singer and songwriter from Lagos, Nigeria. And Wizkid is a Nigerian singer and songwriter from Nigeria as well. He is regarded as one of the most uh, influential African artists of all time, currently. And it's also because of the song Essence that dropped in 2020 featuring Tim's and it was remixed by Justin Bieber. And I'm just like, why would y'all do that? Y'all stay putting Justin Bieber on these songs, trying to make him black and light skin and it doesn't hit. He's not Justin Timberlake, okay? Justin Bieber don't, is not light skin. Justin Timberlake is light skin. Justin Bieber is not. I cannot explain to you why that is, okay? I just feel like that song, first of all, didn't need a remix because that song is already good on its own. It's like the most popular song in 2020. It still plays even now in 2023, like it just came out yesterday. And it's just the fact that y'all made a remix and put Justin Bieber on it and it never hit. No one ever cared. I know y'all feel dumb. Stop putting Justin Bieber on Afrobeat songs. I'm not even like African. I'm African adjacent. Anyway, next song. <laughs> Wizkid. I already told y'all who he was. So we're still on the same dude. He's a repeat offender of putting people on songs that are necessary just to get in the mainstream market. And I understand what you're trying to do. Stop doing that. Anyway, Chris Brown is an American singer and songwriter, dancer, and actor from Tappahannock, Virginia. That's in the southernmost Virginia. Anyway. The song's called Call Me Every Day. Came out last year in 2022. Unnecessary feature. That song would have been excellent without him. Um, I hate Chris Brown on Afrobeat songs, dance hall songs. I don't think he sounds good. I think Chris Brown, what is he, like 35 now? I really wish his voice matured a little bit more. He sounds, he still sounds a bit whiny. And I don't think he sounds right on these songs. And it's not attractive to hear him that song is so good i i just don't he could have done that on his own he could have done that on his own or if he wanted someone on that song i'm i'm not thinking of another singer i'm more so thinking of a rapper and i'm not talking about no like future i'm just talking about just like a rapper like a afro uh beat rapper or like just a rapper and not like for a whole verse, just something small, like a little snippet, like how they did to baby Tate, a little interlude for him to go back into it. 
But um, yeah, no Chris Brown. And I like I don't like Chris Brown on like Afrobeats and Drake and the like, Justin Bieber's. I don't like them. I know they try to do it to get more mainstream and stuff, but I don't think the songs be sounding good when they do this, and it makes me sad. It makes me really sad. But anyway, what do y'all think? Who who? What is a song that y'all have listened to that has a feature on it, and you guys just hate it, and you guys skip? skip it or you guys turn off the song when the person comes up because that's just a few i have i have a whole list i can make a part two i can make a part four i can make a part 10 i can do this all day baby mm. um yeah so let me know let me know um how y'all feel do y'all think i'm just crazy did you enjoy this rant let me know let me know. Okay, so thank you for uh, watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel in this video. Check out my Spotify, link in the bio. Um, my TikTok, where I do shorter versions of these videos, link in the bio. That's it, y'all. Comment below, I'll talk to y'all real soon. Standing, get it right. Lovers at night, I might be questioning Was it worth, yeah, can't keep on no more Especially when I'm sober